Have you ever looked at a car's windshield wipers and wondered why something so simple has barely changed in more than a century? Almost every vehicle you see still uses the same old two-blade pattern. But every once in a while, a company challenges that assumption, and suddenly, a part of the car you never paid attention to becomes surprisingly fascinating. That's exactly what happens when you take a closer look at Aptera's decision to go with a single mono-blade windshield wiper system. It may seem like a small detail at first, but once you understand why, it reveals how deeply the entire vehicle is shaped around efficiency. When Aptera showed their updated wiper system a few days ago, it immediately raised questions. The setup looks extremely simple, just one wiper sweeping across the glass. Compared to the typical two-blade arrangement found on nearly every mainstream car, this feels almost minimalistic. But simplicity in Aptera's world is rarely an accident. Their design philosophy revolves around reducing weight, reducing aerodynamic drag, and eliminating unnecessary mechanisms. That mindset extends even to the windshield wiper. A single wiper blade isn't a brand new idea. A few high-performance European cars used it, mostly because their windshields were shaped in ways that allowed a single sweep to cover more of the glass. The Cybertruck uses a single oversized blade as well, although for completely different geometric reasons. But what makes Aptera's approach unique is how perfectly the monoblade matches the shape of their windshield. The glass is tall, it narrows at the upper corners, and it curves in a way that naturally supports a full sweep pattern from one pivot point. Instead of forcing a complex system to work, Aptera's design just fits. The sweep covers almost everything a driver needs to see. At worst, there's a tiny triangular area on the passenger side that doesn't get full coverage, but because the top of the windshield tapers, that corner is small enough that it doesn't compromise visibility. For a narrow, highly aerodynamic vehicle, the simpler monoblade actually performs extremely well. Instead of needing dual wipers and synchronized arms, this single blade follows the arc of the glass with almost no mechanical complexity. It is one of those designs that looks simple because the underlying geometry is doing the hard work. Now, the next surprise comes from the washer fluid system. On most cars, the spray jets are mounted on the hood. They shoot fluid upwards, and the wind carries it onto the glass. But Aptera's hood is covered in solar panels, and every inch matters. There is no real place to install traditional nozzles without sacrificing solar surface area. So Aptera puts the washer jets in the wiper blade itself. As the blade passes over the glass, it sprays fluid directly where it needs to go. This blade-mounted spray system brings interesting advantages. The coverage is consistent at all speeds, whether the car is parked or traveling at highway velocity. Traditional hood-mounted sprayers often miss their mark when the car is not moving fast enough or moving too fast because airflow changes how the jets land on the glass. Aptera system eliminates that variable entirely. However, this design also creates a few quirks. During testing, you can see noticeable overspray, a fine mist shooting onto the roof or drifting slightly off to the sides before the blade catches up. Whether that's a significant issue or something that will be refined later is unclear. Washer fluid is cheap, and a bit of overspray may never matter, but it's still an area where adjustments could improve efficiency. But when you step back and look at the bigger picture, the logic remains solid. The car's shape, its solar surfaces, and its aerodynamic priorities all point to the same conclusion. The best place for the washer jets is the blade itself. It's another example of Aptera's philosophy of designing for efficiency first and adapting every component around that goal. A single blade wiper system comes with several meaningful benefits. There's less aerodynamic drag because only one arm is cutting through the air instead of two. There are fewer moving parts, which means less weight, fewer failure points, and lower manufacturing costs. Mechanically, it's simpler, easier to maintain, and cheaper to replace. And for a vehicle designed to maximize every watt of energy, these small savings add up. In heavy storms, a dual-blade system might still have a slight advantage in sheer clearing speed, especially on wider windshields. But Aptera's narrow cabin works in the monoblade's favor. The shape of the glass compensates for the disadvantages usually associated with a single blade. 
exploring windshield wipers leads to a surprisingly rich and often overlooked history. The modern concept began with Mary Anderson in the early 1900s. She invented one of the earliest mechanical wiper designs after watching streetcar operators struggle to maintain visibility during winter weather. Her solution was a hand-operated lever inside the cabin, a simple but revolutionary improvement that made driving safer. Back then, many wipers weren't powered by electricity at all. Some ran on compressed air. Others used manual cranks, and some early automobiles didn't include wipers until regulations forced manufacturers to adopt them. The introduction of pneumatic systems, the shift to electric motors, and the later development of intermittent wiping were all incremental steps that eventually shaped the modern wipers we know today. Even the global evolution of the technology is interesting. Different countries and manufacturers contributed various specialties. Some focused on mechanics, others on motor control, and others on sensor-driven rain detection. Over time, every improvement made driving just a little safer, a little easier, and a little more automated. The journey from hand-cranking a wiper to today's rain-sensing systems spans more than a century of trial, error, innovation, and clever engineering. When you think about it that way, Aptera's design choice becomes part of a broader story, one that shows how even the simplest components continue to evolve when vehicles themselves change dramatically. The decision to spray washer fluid from the blade rather than from fixed nozzles has its own advantages and trade-offs. On the positive side, the fluid lands exactly where it should, regardless of speed, because the spray originates from the moving part that actually touches the glass. There's no need to tune nozzle angles for highway speeds or adjust for airflow patterns. Aptera's system eliminates that variable entirely. However, this design also creates a few quirks. During testing, you can see noticeable overspray, a fine mist shooting onto the roof or drifting slightly off to the sides before the blade catches up. Whether that's a significant issue or something that will be refined later is unclear. Washer fluid is cheap, and a bit of overspray may never matter, but it's still an area where adjustments could improve efficiency. But when you step back and look at the bigger picture, the logic remains solid. The car's shape, its solar surfaces, and its aerodynamic priorities all point to the same conclusion. The best place for the washer jets is the blade itself. It's another example of Aptera's philosophy of designing for efficiency first and adapting every component around that goal. A single blade wiper system comes with several meaningful benefits. There's less aerodynamic drag because only one arm is cutting through the air instead of two. There are fewer moving parts, which means less weight, fewer failure points, and lower manufacturing costs. Mechanically, it's simpler, easier to maintain, and cheaper to replace. And for a vehicle designed to maximize every watt of energy, these small savings add up. In heavy storms, a dual-blade system might still have a slight advantage in sheer clearing speed, especially on wider windshields. But Aptera's narrow cabin works in the monoblade's favor. The shape of the glass compensates for the disadvantages usually associated with a single blade. Exploring windshield wipers leads to a surprisingly rich and often overlooked history. The modern concept began with Mary Anderson in the early 1900s. She invented one of the earliest mechanical wiper designs after watching streetcar operators struggle to maintain visibility during winter weather. Her solution was a hand-operated lever inside the cabin, a simple but revolutionary improvement that made driving safer. Back then, many wipers weren't powered by electricity at all. Some ran on compressed air, others used manual cranks, and some early automobiles didn't include wipers until regulations forced manufacturers to adopt them. The introduction of pneumatic systems, the shift to electric motors, and the later development of intermittent wiping were all incremental steps that eventually shaped the modern wipers we know today. When you think about it that way, Aptera's design choice becomes part of a broader story, one that shows how even the simplest components continue to evolve when vehicles themselves change dramatically. The decision to spray washer fluid from the blade rather than from fixed nozzles has its own advantages and trade-offs. On the positive side, the fluid lands exactly where it should, regardless of speed, because the spray originates from the moving part that actually touches the glass. 
There's no need to tune nozzle angles for highway speeds or adjust for airflow patterns. Aptera's system eliminates that variable entirely. However, this design also creates a few quirks. During testing, you can see noticeable overspray, a fine mist shooting onto the roof or drifting slightly off to the sides before the blade catches up. Whether that's a significant issue or something that will be refined later is unclear. Washer fluid is cheap, and a bit of overspray may never matter, but it's still an area where adjustments could improve efficiency. But when you step back and look at the bigger picture, the logic remains solid. The car's shape, its solar surfaces, and its aerodynamic priorities all point to the same conclusion. The best place for the washer jets is the blade itself. It's another example of Aptera's philosophy of designing for efficiency first and adapting every component around that goal.